you're fortunate enough to be born in Texas, then it's something that truly is in your DNA. We'd go see friends, go listen to live music, go out and have a good time, no matter what the weather. Texans have an identity with their state, and no matter where you live, no matter where you lay your head, you're still a Texan. In Texas, football is religion. Uh, my entire family played football. Both my dad and brother played it at UT Stadium. This place is empty now, but I guarantee you on a football Saturday, you park your car and you're walking through the tailgating, the roars and the excitement and the bands, it is a little bit of the Coliseum. There is something about that, and these are gladiators. They're modern day gladiators. It's exhilarating. Texas is a, is a really big state. Living here my whole life, I knew that, but it really struck home when I packed my bags in Houston, Texas to drive to Los Angeles and realized that the halfway point was still Texas. And then came A Perfect World, which was a spec script of mine. And the next thing I knew, I was back working with Clint Eastwood and Kevin Costner, and it was quite the homecoming. I think any time you do a movie in Texas, it inserts itself into the story and becomes a character, whether you want it to or not. I embraced that early on when I did The Rookie here, and of course with The Alamo, and these were both Texas stories. So from day one, we recognized that the state and its imagery was going to be a character in the movie. And it has a lot to say. That was Texas, you know, putting its arm around us and saying, let's do it my way, boys.